And when the sap's really flowing, you're going to want to empty these buckets once or twice a day and then take it down to the sugar house and turn it into syrup. All right. So this tool is called the evaporator where we boil the sap to make maple syrup. So what happens here is we have a really hot fire underneath these pans and then this back pan has, has the raw sap in it that looks almost clear, almost like water. And then it gets boiled down and it moves through different compartments and moves to this front pan where it's a much darker color, much closer to syrup in this front pan. This smells amazing, but most homeowners would not have this at home. Yeah, a homeowner that's, you know, tapping a couple trees, um, they can boil the sap in an outdoor grill or a turkey fryer, use any kind of food safe container to put the sap in and then boil it down outside. So we boil the sap and we have a couple different tools to use to know when it has turned into maple syrup, when we've boiled off enough of that water. One is this, this thermometer right here, and the other tool is a hydrometer right there. So the thermometer obviously checks for temperature. What does the hydrometer do? The hydrometer checks for density. It makes sure we have the right sugar content in the syrup. 